Bekeho's three is no good. Mackenzie Meyer with the rebound. It's first game for everyone, I suppose, as Warnock drop step, layup, and the foul. A three-point play pending for McKenna Warnock. Big play. Marshall will check in. We'll see a foul shot pending from Warnock. It's a seven-point lead. Doyle walks to the scores table to check in. Meyer, Warnock, her three. That's big. Iowa makes it a four-point game as Warnock knocks home the triple. Cross-court pass, getting that ball moving east to west against the zone as well. They get inside a high percentage spot. Three-point play opportunity. Around the floor, finding the open player and having the player flash to the top of the key and finding her partner inside as a Texas basketball. Warnock, the feed, Sonano, an easy layup. Beautiful, layer. yeah, yeah, that was a great way to keep her. First two, 13 to 10, Nebraska has their biggest lead. Out top, Warnock goes down the lane, drives, puts it up over Mershon and scores. That's a pretty impressive move by that freshman, McKenna Warnock. Second chance points for Nebraska so far and nothing at the rim. No touches on that offensive glass. Iowa doing this with Kathleen Doyle out with two fouls. Deep three is good for Warnock, a career-high second three. Forces Amy Williams to take a timeout. McKenna Warnock for three. Over to Doyle, the quick pass inside that time. Nice spin move. Oh, about it. The three point shooting for Iowa, which wins out. Good take, a good strong take there for Warnock. Matchup this year, though both of these teams look a little bit different with their rosters. Indiana returning four of the five starters, ringing it up. There's a freshman, McKenna Warnock. Now here comes Iowa on the push. That is a decision they're going to have to make. Sinano trying to get position again. Warnock this time taking it inside for two. Here come the Hawkeyes. All of a sudden. Well, they've pushed it all right. They've gotten the ball inside is what they've done. 24 paint points now for Iowa. If Hawkeyes will run a set to try to get an isolation for Warnock. Nice move there by the freshman. Inbound to Warnock, guarded by Stoffaker. Warnock with the right and the roll. That'll take us to the end of the third. Megan and Hannah Stewart getting those rebounds last year, and then they all collectively as a team need to rebound better. Good strong move by the freshman on the Iowa side, McKenna Warnock. We're only allowing about 25%. Scoring from three, but you're absolutely correct. Defense has got to be a point of emphasis for both of these teams. Abby Marshall back into the game for the Hawkeyes, the freshman from Cincinnati. McKenna Warnock, a good look for her, and, and there's roll. the shooter's roll. Shooter's roll. You see McKenna Warnock setting up for the three, and again, just, just enough to get it to fall in. Civilian. Back out to Doyle. Drives in, Olinger, now Warnock from three. That one's good. Far really yet to figure it out right here. Take a look at this three earlier on from Warnock. Just put enough English on that one. Instead, here come the Hawkeyes. Gets it to Warnock. Inside to Meyer, oh, that's a good cut. Found Mackenzie Meyer. Turns around, finds Marshall, thought about it. Instead, Warnock once again drives past one defender, finds Sinano, who finishes the layup. Looking for Sinano in the post, the reverse layup is good. They want to hear the seniors step up and, and with integrity, let the team know what they needed to do better. Sinano gets the end one. It's civilian. Zion Sanders and Sonano also to check back. Tapped out, Olinger grabs one off the rim. A pass that was tapped around fell right in her lap. Hilliard to Lewis. Fredrickson turns around, swatted away by Warnock, and she comes away with it. Doyle bringing the ball up for the Hawkeyes here. Warnock with the drive, contact. He still gets it to go with the right hand. 
Marshall, that was a good idea. Marshall had Doyle open. Yeah. And she said no. Warnock skips to Marshall, right wing. Over to Meyer, finds Doyle, contested by Scalia. In and out, Doyle very frustrated, but Warnock, the offensive rebound, throws it in. So a bit strong for the three ball from Scalia, and Warnock brings it up. They leave her open, a float pass inside to Sinano, and she finishes. Contributing big. Freshman out of Florida, off the bench. Warnock. Trying the contact. As an explanation. There's the drive. She was standing there for a very long time. Let's see where that those feet are, though. Just slightly. Doyle with the take for two. Or not. Pump fake for two. McKenna Warnock! Winding down the final six minutes, Warnock inside the finish. No answer so far for the Hawkeyes. Civilian, kick out. Warnock, the three. Big triple, McKenna Warnock. Clark to Warnock, long three. It's good. Zone defense with a steal from Iowa as they bring up the ball right now. Caitlin Clark. Gonna pull that one from deep. Huge player. She graduated last year. The great Kathleen Doyle. She was first team all Big Ten by coaches, second team all Big Ten by media. points four of five from the field and two of two with the charity stripe but Iowa comes back with another trifecta Warnock who's made a couple of three-pointers blocking foul basket counts well it started with a strong close out there from Miles and it was too much so Warnock got her to bite and then went in, and there was nothing left to do. Instead, they're looking for a good shot. Here's Hubbard to Bagwell, Katalinich. Feed, it's poked away. Here comes Meyer, three on two the other way. Dish to Warnock, running the floor, the layup's good. Kate Martin bringing it up here for Iowa. And again, they're looking inside to Sonano, who feeds the pass, body bucket and one that time. Dean Sonano has the steal. The help comes over from Burton, not there on time, plus in the restricted. The heart and soul here of this Northwestern basketball team because she can do a little bit of everything. Two on the shot clock. Ooh, what a touch pass. That is Iowa Hawkeye sharing the ball at its best. Shot clock still in play on this possession. Here's Warnock taking it down the lane and cuts the lead to two, or cuts the lead to one. Iowa staying patient, trying to get the bucket they want. Warnock coming down, still finishing towards the basket, able to get that. And that had to hurt. Caitlin Clark, offensive rebound, McKenna Warnock, and the putback, plus one. Love that ability to finish through contact. message was get touches first to Sonano because good things happen and we have to check that I said 38 it is 48 percent for Megan Warnock so great look takes her time swings it Warnock nothing but net I'm just Kate's learning this big 10 right, right, so right, you right. step in and help straight. me out here is Kate Martin again 
She just wanted you to say her name again. Goodman down low for the bucket. Goodman, excuse me. Marshall and we've seen even Warnock put up several points in it as well. Caitlin Clark distributes again. And Clark wants to push. Feeds Warnock for three. And Iowa now has gone back to back. The knee pads too, Pam. That does it yeah. for me always. Yeah, that's very blue collar looking for Sonano. And then the drive. Nice finish for Warnock. Clark with six on the shot clock. Going to work against Hybe. Skips it over to Warnock. Her three falls. And Iowa with three. As Hybe will just dribble the third quarter out. Your teammates involved as a point guard. Caitlin Clark draws the defense, kicks it to. Missed three pointers. Huskers are going to need to hit a few of those as they try to come back. Caitlin Clark looking to step back. Two on the shot clock. Warnock launching and hitting as the horn sounds in the background. Onto the wing. It's Hagens who had all day to line that one up and missed it long. Stretch pass. Sonano with the finger roll. Boy, she runs the floor well, Nick. Brenda Fries only told us that she'd been doing some non-contract shooting drills, but they were really encouraged by her last x-ray and obviously very encouraged to put her in this game here today. Caitlin Clark, when you have such a talented yes. player, but she's got the ball right now that you know can score in any possession, it's easy to watch. McKenna Warnock for three. Can contribute, and, and three-point shooting is certainly one of those areas. Well, you saw Caitlin Clark. Feed it. Bucket and one. Warnock. Yeah, and I think that was a one-handed pass there from her. Yep, just a little push pass to Warnock. Thompson just really late over. Bring women's basketball to you on a major network. In the first couple of possessions, they went post-style, one for each. Monica Sinano and Mackenzie Holmes to open up the third. Here's Warnock. Hey, looky what I found, leading to an and one. To make a play, that's what I always say, Lisa. Hey, if there's an opportunity, then you've got to step up and take. Inside. Little floater, how about that? Iowa defense turning over Purdue. Here comes Clark. Feeds it to Warnock for two. All of a sudden, the Hawkeyes are rolling. Perfectly placed pass by the freshman, Caitlin Clark. Iowa up eight to clean it up. Six and a half to play. Warnock with a wide open look. Well, that's what Michigan State needs. They want to get up and down the floor, too. Don't get that wrong. Just because Iowa has the capability of scoring in bunches, like that one just fell through for them. But as Susie Merchant was talking about Nia Cloud, and she said she was better against Penn State. She was exceptional against Indiana. And there's a three look from the top of the key by Warnock. Positionless basketball. That is the real description of this Maryland offense when a player like Bibby can pass the way she does. Great cut and score for Iowa. You see how fast this is moving, Pam? Awkward layup on the reverse side. She was unable to get that to go. High up with it. Here comes Caitlin Clark trying to get one down to low to Warnock. She does. Warnock goes up for the shot. Score. Whistle and a foul. Two two zone. Out on top is uh, Adara Groman out of the right wing down low. Nice pass by McKenna Warnock to Kate Martin who cut the lane. Six one senior out of Iowa City West High School. Here's a long three taken and made from a bank shot by Kate Martin. 4.44 to go in this first quarter. A basketball game, Kate Martin with it. Now it's uh, Southern University and a player defense. Kick to the left side and shot from three and a score for McKenna Warnock. I think she did kind of look like she tripped over her own feet, so that was a good no call. Warnock picks it up off the floor after Smith lost the handle. Clark for three. Got it. Great that Hageman able to create enough separation to get an open shot. Warnock calls her own number and hits from deep. McKenna Warnock with her second three-pointer of the game. And make it. That was 20. 
Two off of her career high. Warnock gets it with a big time three straight away. Warnock to the hoop. Gets it up. Good, strong take scores. Here comes Caitlin Clark, leading all scores with 27. Warnock, three. And Clark coming up, drawing multiple people at her, and just a scramble for Northwestern. Warnock makes herself available. Wide open three. I mean, that's a layup for a player like Warnock, who shoots at more than 40% from beyond the arc. A massive shot for this Iowa team. But here's that tempo that Iowa wants. They want to search and probe. McKenna Warnock cannot be left alone for Warnock. that long. She knocks down that three. Iowa using their three-point shooting to get them up. Clark is crafty. She is smart. Here she finds Warnock wide open for three. Automatic. She's one of two 40% three-point shooters on this team along with Gabby Marshall. Clark stopping, she's got 14 points inside to Sonano once again. To go up and down, but right now it feels like Nebraska has the momentum when it comes to pace. Kind of worn off, back-to-back buckets for Iowa. Lots of movement offensively for the Hawkeyes. Result in a beautiful three for McKenna Warnock. That is turnover number seven for the Illini. You could see Illinois trying to come off that double stagger for Nye, but Iowa covered it up. Watch Caitlin Clark's eyes. She is surveying and times a per Some early minutes at five points against the Gophers. But she is one of four players on the Hawkeyes going into a STEM career, but a beautiful, beautiful pass and finish. Watch right here. Warnock sizes it up. Nice hard cut. And not let her get a touch. That's the best way to play defense on McKenna Marisa because she doesn't take any time on her release. A lot of inside action for the Hawkeyes on offense. And this is a chance for Warnock to make a three point play. You don't have to settle for outside shots against the zone. Take hard cuts from the weak side. She hasn't even been shooting as we know she can from deep, and she's still putting up these kind of numbers this year. Absolutely. And Elisa Bluter was looking for some wood to knock on to when you were talking yeah. to her about that topic. Knocked away and the rebound taken by Tommy Taiwo. That's a shot Walsh could not miss right there. Beautiful find from Burton. Warnock inside and floats it in. That's a, that's a four point swing. Absolutely, and Ohio State back in their 2-2-1 press. And that's what Kevin McNuff said. He said, we just want to contain them, but we got to find them in the back of the press. Oh boy, watch right here. Warnock is going to knock down. Steps back to half court, and Warnock will hold on to it. Downhill, Warnock off the window. It just is going to take seeing the ball going into the basket for this Indiana team to get some confidence. Here's McKenna Warnock for three, and Iowa off to a great start. Whoa, what's going on? She averages 27 per game, but no, she's getting involved in other ways. Route was jumped by McKenna Warnock, and she waits for Grace Berger to run by her. And there was a moment where she overtook Kaylin Clark, but Clark there near 27 a game. She's got three. They're in the opening quarter with an assist. That's a great look. And that's a second dime, and Warnock drilled the trip. Including a few from the logo today. From the Herky Beak. How about a triple for Warnock? And we cannot discount them coming back. Still a lot of time left for a scrappy, deep, and balanced Nebraska team. But Sonano gets the quick and easy turn. Yesterday against Ohio State, leading her team. That's why Gabby Marshall gets a lot of playing time. Not going to score a lot of points, but a really good perimeter defender. Warnock's been rather quiet. That was loud. <laughs> Lobs into Sonano, out to Warnock. Good take to the basket. Good finish there. As she had a defender come flying at her in Fleming that gets the finish. In talking to Coach Cher Williams before the game, one of the things she was worried about, obviously everybody's worried about Caitlin Clark, but she was really worried about the inside game. Warnock for three from the wing. 
Book it. A whole line change sitting at the scorer's table for, for Belmont. McCa McCabe and Clark for the Hawks. Warnock for three. Got it. Good feed. Good way to look opposite from Sonano on the low block. Gets on the score sheet. And it's a three-point ball game. Caitlin Clark makes it a five-point ball game. Great ball movement right here. That's Warnock. Passes back to Clark, driving towards the basket, and there's a layup made by Caitlin Clark. She can't wrap it around there. On the run, Warnock pulls up off the window. So can't take it all the way to the rim. Shot blocker there. She's a volume shooter, number three in the Big Ten in points per game. Just a couple behind Caitlin Clark, looking for her first assist, and it is Warnock for three. Her career. So good at spotting up in transition. Caitlin Clark knows how to deliver the ball better than anybody. Stalwart of supporting women in athletics. Yeah, for so many years. Sydney a Fulter off the steal. Clark is gonna lob into Warnock. The alley-oop perfection. The, the direct pass and then the alley-oop. Up in the air, gets Warnock. Hands it back to McDermott. Step back, thought she was gonna take the three, didn't do it. Warnock with a steal. Tries to find some space. Finds Molly Davis for three. Hawks are on fire. Second half underway. Good back cut there, but turnover as Warnock gets the steal on the deflected pass. Clark behind the back. Dumps to Sonano. And so they had two back waiting for her. Top 10 scorer in the Big Ten this season after a career low at Rutgers last year. Warnock gets loose. That's not what you want if you're Purdue. Another reposts. They kick it out instead. Warnock knocked down five of those against Purdue. That feels like a big one to pull within six. Philia's got 12 points and 12 of the first 14. We were talking to Kim Barnes and Rico just about Layla Philia's growth, and she said the biggest thing is her confidence as McKenna Warnock knocks down another three. But a season ago... Iowa creates tons of possessions by the pace at which they play, so therefore they also give up a ton of possessions, but Penn State's been scoring at a high clip this season. Warnock with a quick three. Shot clock turned off. Clark facing some pressure in the backcourt. Breaks it easily. Warnock says, all right, I'll take the layup, plus the foul. Iowa has simply been dominant in the paint. They have gotten so many easy looks inside. Keeger said that Iowa is going to score its points. They're scoring oh. 90 points per game in Big Ten play, but we need to be as aggressive right back to them. Going, they make quick decisions, and off a cut, Martin reads the defense, feels her defender on the back. Finding her rhythm in the post. And there's Sonato, a second chance. Warnock pays it off from downtown. And close to getting her 12th. 20-point game this season. There is the long-range shooting by McKenna Warnock, netting the three. The left-handed jump hook not good. Caitlin Clark there with the rebound. Hawkeyes playing some great half-court defense. What a nice pass by Caitlin Clark from the right side, just inside the half-court line, to the left low block to McKenna Warnock. I'm there, Jerry. That was insane. Beautiful pass. And she's going to, if you're some, it's a lot like, um, Got to make those shots, and that's the difference in this game. Nebraska's getting quality looks. And guess who just got the steal? That's Taylor McCabe. She's a Nebraska native. Lisa Bluter mentioned how much she wanted her to get in the game. Rattling out. Kept alive. Warnock. And the foul. She'll head to the line. Oh, great hustle play. Keeping the play alive. Warnock was on the front end. They made 10 of 17 tonight against a top 10 opponent. Warnock off the glass and in. Clark, oh, he's so wary about her stopping way outside the three-point line, but that's going to be swished in. Nothing but net by Warnock. She can hit that shot, 41% from three. McKenna Warnock stepping out, draining the three. <laughs> Approaching the midway point of the first semifinal number two. Kate Martin cuts exquisitely to the basket. 
You saw Cody McMahon go right to work inside. They've scored all of their points so far in the second half of the paint. Shifting what we saw in the first half. Warlock able somehow to regather. Oh, <laughs>